Hello guys, so our next video is again about transportation costs. At this time, we have FOB shipping point freight prepage. So review lang natin, ano ibig sabihin ng FOB shipping point? The buyer shoulders the shipping cost. So if the buyer shoulders the shipping cost, dapat si buyer ay mag-debit ng freight in or transportation in. So while the goods are in transit or habang binabiyahe, the buyer already owns the goods. So the ownership of the goods passes from the seller to the buyer when the inventory leaves the seller's place of business. So pagkahakot ni buyer, nailipat na agad ang ownership sa kanya. So pag sinabi naman natin na freight prepaid, ang ibig sabihin nito, si seller ang nagbayad ng transportation cost. Pero ang kanilang freight term ay FOB shipping point ang dapat magbayad ay si buyer. So, check lang natin if FOB shipping point freight prepaid, who shoulders the transportation cost? It's the buyer. Who pays the shipper? Ang seller. So, merong conflict dito. So, anong masusunod? Ang freight term nila, which is FOB shipping point. So, we have the following example. On October 14, 2019, True Love, store owned by Trisha Lambunaw, sold merchandise to Hashtag Just New Store owned by Janine Maglana for 50,000 pesos. The terms is FOB shipping point to over 10 and over 30. Then, Trisha paid the shipping cost of 750. So, makikita natin dito, the seller is the one who paid the shipping cost. Janine received the goods and the invoice on October 15. On October 23, Janine sent the payment to Trisha, which Trisha received on October 24. So, we are required to prepare journal entries for the books of the seller and the buyer. So, let us have first entries in the books of, ah, sa dalawa, seller and buyer. So, yung nasa left kay seller, yung nasa right kay buyer. So, on October 14, 2019, our entry will be debit accounts receivable credit sales kay hashtag true love ito kay seller. Kay buyer naman, debit purchases 50,000, credit accounts payable 50,000. Then, on October 15, uh, 14 then, Trisha paid the shipping cost of 750. So, ano ba ang usapan nila? Ang kanilang free term is FOB shipping point. So, therefore, si buyer ang dapat mag-shoulder. Kaya dapat, si seller, kahit siya ang nagbayad, hindi siya dapat mag-debit ng freight in or freight out. So, ano gagawin ni seller? Eh, dahil ang dapat magbayad ay si buyer, pero si seller ang nagbayad, at si buyer ay may utang kay seller, ang gagawin ni seller is, dadagdagan niya ang receivable niya kay buyer. So, magde-debit tayo ng accounts receivable. Bakit tayo magde-debit ng accounts receivable? Kasi nga, nadagdagan ang utang ni buyer kay seller. Ano yung utang na yun? Yung freight na dapat ang nagbayad ay si buyer. So, entry, debit accounts receivable, credit cash. For the buyer, walang entry. So, on October 23, nagbayad na. Received ni seller ng October 24. So, check muna natin ang entry sa books ni seller. So, ano ang entry cap upon payment? Debit cash, 49,750. Debit sales discount, 1,000. Credit accounts receivable, 50,750. So, saan ba nang yung sales discount? So, ito yun. Kasi nga, eto o oh, ah uh, meron tayong 2 over 10 so ibig sabihin nito ay 2% discount if we pay within 10 days so nagbayad ba tayo within 10 days yes 24 minus 14 okay we have 10 days so pasok sa discount period 50,000 times 0 0.02 we get 1,000 and next paano naman natin nakuha yung balance na accounts receivable Ito, paano natin ito nakuha? So, magkano ba ang ating utang originally? Accounts receivable natin na, ah, not utang, pautang. Ang ating pautang ay 50,000 pesos. Yan ang ating pautang. Plus, tayo ang nagbayad ng freight. Dapat ay si seller, ay si buyer. Pero ang nagbayad ay tayo. O, si seller tayo, ha? So, anong gagawin? Dadagdag natin sa utang ni 
buyer. Kaya ang singilin na kay buyer ay 50,750. Ito yun, yung 50,750. Okay. Malikin natin na Date yun yung discount. Ito yung uh, sa shipping cost. Anong kagaling yan? Yan yung entry natin, oh. Kasi ang nagbayad ay tayo. Prepaid, prepaid, ba diba? And then, makikita ninyo, ang accounts receivable balance ay 50,750. So, paano naman natin nakuha yung cost? So, from the balance of accounts receivable na 50,750, minus natin ang sales discount na 1,000 pesos para makuha ang 49,750. So, sa books naman ni buyer, ano ang entry? Debit accounts payable, 50,000. Debit freight in, 750. Credit cash, 49,750. Credit purchase discount, 1,000. So, paano nakuha si discount? Kagaya din kanina. Multiply lang natin ng 2% si 50,000. Kasi nga nakabayad tayo within the 10 days at the 10 day discount period. Then, yung freight in. Bakit tayo nag-debit ng freight in? Kasi nga, ang ating freight term ay FOB shipping point. Tayo si buyer. Si hashtag just me ay si buyer. So, kapag ikaw ang buyer at ang usapan niya ay FOB shipping point, ikaw ang in charge sa pagsagot ng transportation cost. So, dapat mag-debit ka ng freight in. Magkano? 750 pesos. Then, naalala niyo yung si Trisha, nag-buy siya ng accounts receivable ng 750. O, ano bang effect nito? Kasi, tingnan niyo, may accounts payable tayo na 50,000. Tapos, dinagdag yung 750 na binayaran ni seller. So, ang singilin sa atin ni seller ay 50,750. Tapos, less natin si discount na 1,000 pesos. Kaya ang cash payment na lang natin ay 49,750. So, yan na guys ang video for uh, FOB shipping point freight repaid. Hopefully, may natutunan kayo. Thank you so much.